Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. I've got a bit of a treat for you today. So, Keeper RL, I've played this before on the channel, and now is the perfect time to play this if you've always wanted to play it, because the developer has uh, released it for free. Uh, you can download it for free and don't have to pay a bean. And this is, I think, they've just done this because it's, there's a lot of people stuck at home at the moment, and it's just a nice thing for them to do. So, I've got to go and play a new game. I've not played this for a while and it looks like some new features. So we've got mods now. So I've added this mod, which is Alpha 29 Bonus Dev. Uh, this has got new Keeper classes, adventures, creatures, factions, technology spells and map features. Yes, that sounds good. There's also Z levels. Apparently you can uh, build between the levels now, which sounds really cool. So um, do I want to go male or female? I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to play as a fe female, I think. We're going to play Keeper mode. And let's have a little look. Who can we go as? Gnome Chief. Manage a tribe of gnomes. Elementalist. Summon an army from your raw resources. Sounds pretty cool. Winged Vampire Lord. Challenge. Fight using an undead army. Or we can be a dwarf queen. <laughs> a dwarf queen? Oh, these are pretty cool. Build an army of goblins and over on the land with numbers. Ah, oh, some of these sound good. So... I quite like the sounds of that though. Manage a tribe of gnomes. Yes, let's try that. Now the cool thing about this, if you've never played this before, is the starting area here, as it mentions here, it's like the main map made up of little little maps, and we can also add retired dungeons. And these are actually what people have played. So if you look on these here, you can see. Let's have a little look. Uh, what sounds cool? So you could have like this one here, Zeomancer, Conquer 8, 8 out of 25, and it does require that mod. And that's one I've got, so I'm going to add that one. And then that changes the look of my overall map here. So you can see we've got different places where we can spawn. You can spawn in one of these, um, I think I think you choose, I think you spawn wherever you want. I think we spawn here. Do we spawn here? I don't think we choose where to spawn. I think you just start in the middle, but these are the different bits we can go to. So you've got ants there, bottomless dungeon there, you've got tree spirits there, goblin king there is the main villain, and we've got Zeomancer, the, the main villain. So I guess that originally when this was rolled, that was the main villain and that was the player, but yeah, I, yeah this sounds hard, so it's going to be fun. So as you can see, it's downloading the map, generating, and then we're going to dive into it. So if you've not played this before, it's a bit like, I'd say, RimWorld and Dwarf Fortress. If you like either of those games, then you'll like this. It's You're a dungeon keeper, and you get to build a dungeon, you do traps, you get population, and it's cool. Okay, let's dismiss that. Okay, here we go. So, let's pause this straight away. Now... This is my main map, so you can see on the map over here, question marks, that means there is something over there, which generally means there's like um, a village or, you know, some form of NPCs. So I'm sort of slap bang in the middle. Now, if you remember from the, the map we looked at earlier, there was the main villain there and the NPC there. So I want to just avoid all of that at the moment. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to collect some uh, materials. So I want to collect some uh, trees. So I'm going to grab all on, hold down shift and you highlight. No, if you hold down shift, you mine or cut in a square. So I'm just going to dig right into here, I think. I don't know how good this area is, but I'm going to dig into here now. These little alerts come up here. These are people that will join you. Now, they'll only join you when you meet requirements. So this is Boris the Gnome. As you can see, he's got a, a trait of disarming in traps. Le legendary skill laboratory. Okay, sleep resistance. He hates humans. And he requires a bed. So we need to start building some, uh, some rooms. So let's unpause it. So we're going to start doing some, like, uh, basic rooms. Whether I'm right or wrong, I tend to like doing some little storerooms at the front, and then I'll start doing some, like, bedrooms. So, 
We're going to make this into like a, a barracks. And this one can be a storeroom. Now the cool thing with this game is you can you can build this however you want. You can build whatever shape you want. And you can uh, also do multiple traps. And it's just, it is cool. Right, so this is going to be my main barracks. So we need to do a bed. So we're going to live in. We go bed. Tag that. One of these um, imps will eventually go and do it. And we do need to do a storage room. So let's do let's do resources in the whole room there. They should start going collecting this wood. And we should start seeing my wood levels rising. There we go. That means we can now build that bed. Cool. Now we can accept this guy. So if we left click. A gnome has joined my forces. Cool. Right, we need more stuff. All right, there's another one. Dadrick the gnome. Another one. Hates humans. Permanent trait swimmer. Right. I'm going to build a few uh, beds. The, the cool thing about this game is you can you can do all this stuff while you're paused. So I'm just going to do like a barracky type room here. Do loads of beds. It's a bit bad to plan in there. Uh, can we fit another? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll only do that amount of beds. That will do us for now. Get some more wood as well. And we're going to go deeper. So we are going to get a basic... Um, we're going to get a workshop. So I think it makes sense to do a little... Let's do a little workshop in here. And this is all unknown. I don't know what's going to be through here. Because I can see resources here. Could be something really bad. And the workshops you need to, you need to do a workshop to produce like weapons and armor and stuff. So that's what I'm going to try and get built. And they are done in crafting. And then we've got workshop. We'll just put one in there for now. Now if you hover over uh, an item once we've built these, you'll see the efficiency of them as well. Because you do have to take that into account. So if you do this, it says insufficient light. Now we solve that by putting a light in, a torch. So you just need to illuminate the room. And this is only going to be like a, a tiny little room. So this is just a little crafting room where we're going to have a couple of workshop things in, the, in here. And then we'll have an equipment room in here. So this is all going to be an equipment room. Another thing we need to do, let's pause it. We need to do a library. So library is wooden bookcases. So I guess... We can do it like down here. Let's click that. Uh, do I like the shape of that or not? I think that'll do. It's a bit, it's a bit lopsided. Now you can re you can remove stuff once you've placed it down. So if I decide I want to cancel something, I can just cancel that like that. Shortcuts as well for all of these. For some of the main things, like so, for, say for instance, dig is actually if you let me right click, yeah, if you press D, that takes you to that. I think E E's remove. Okay, so we're getting more people now. Let's uh, get all these accepted. Now we want to start making stuff. So if we click click on this, we can start making all our weapons and armor. Ooh, right, so. I can see my forces as well if I click in here. I can see I've got four gnomes and one imp. So I want to start making stuff. What do I make though? Spears, plus six damage, plus one defense. We've got a crossbow, 20 right. I reckon we need... How many people have we got? We've got four gnomes. I'm going to build three spears and a crossbow. And maybe a wooden staff for the keeper. We're going to need armor for all of these, so let's do armor as well. I'm just going to do leather armor, leather helm, leather boots. That'll do for now. Okay, we've got all gnomes joined us now. And these are all actually at the moment, these are all just learning, um, these are all training in spell stuff, so. 
you can actually you can drag these and make them go somewhere else so let's get you working on that and you working on that now if we click on this now you should start seeing the uh, production going up so you can see there got these two working on the spears and once they've got a spear made they get put in here there you go known produces a spear We've got a negative thing on wood here because we need to make, well, we, not make, we need to collect more wood. We've got 170 from the items queued up, so I'm going to go and grab all that. <laughs> Don't know why I randomly just dug that bit of wall there. Okay, we've got another gnome. Now, you do get different animals. It is possible to get different things. Um, I'm just trying to think what else I can build because you're quite limited at the start what you can actually build the prison you can do we can do doors and stuff as well which is pretty cool so we can put like a little door in a dungeon to stop people coming in let's get rid of that tree there and we've got the downstairs as well we're not going to do that just yet we've got an archery target training oh this is what we need to build right so we need to do a training room so we need to do an equipment room in here for where to store in all the items. Otherwise, they're just going to drop them on the floor like that. There you go. Stuff's going to get transferred. And people will go and equip. So he's just been and got grabbed himself a spear. So they will auto-equip stuff. Um, I need to do a training room now. So I guess here would be a decent enough training room. Needs to be a little bit bigger though, I think. Let's do it a little bit wider. Now, depending on what stuff you've got built, depending on what um what things you get delivered. Let's let's just see this one here, this is me keeper, he's got a uh, sword plus eight. Let's give him um a different weapon. I want to give him the wooden staff. He'll go and grab that, which means he'll be better at spells. There you go. Plus four spell damage. I want to. I want him to go in here and train as well. So if we grab him, I think we should be able to get him to train. Can he train? Oh, I think maybe maybe he can't train because he he should be able to research. Oh, I don't think we can get into research. I thought we could. Maybe not. Let's just leave him to do what he's, he's doing. Right, so we're going to do a training room in here. So if we come in here, we do training. We can do an archery target in here. We're going to get a few of these. Just do four for now, and we need to do light as well. So if I put a torch up here, I'll show you the difference between the two. If you see this here, if you look at bottom right, it says indoors position. And if you look at this one, insufficient light. So they get like a, a negative like training treat if you don't have a torch down. Same with the research room as well. We need to get a torch in here. Because insufficient light there. There you go. Ooh insufficient light on these bits well on that bit there i think it's like a radius from the uh the thing um how am i gonna just trying to think how i can do that now i need to do another torch i don't think I... can i put a torch there or is that gonna block i think that should work there you go it's all nicely lit up now Okay, let's get more people in. So I've got I've got enough beds for uh, eight people, and I've got seven people at the moment. We've got someone new though, a gnome mage. Yes, I want you. Hopefully, he's going to be the one I can do tra uh, research with. Look at, look at them all going in there. They, they all really want to... Um, they all seem to, at the moment, want to do 
Oh, I can't do training with these, I don't think. I think it's because these are all magic. Oh, that's interesting. So, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I can get these to do training. A gnome learns a spell of healing. Right, build a pigsty to feed your minions. I can't build one of those just yet, I don't think. We've got loads of different things we can build, though. Ooh, what's all these? Portal, stone statue. A lot of these gnomes are, are levelling up now. I think my... I almost feel, feel my, my library's not big enough. Let's get this expanded. Let's do mega library. And we can't quite dig into that, so we'll cheat a little bit and go around the back like that. So there's also there's all sorts of resources on the map as well, so these are all ores, so we've got granite there, we've got iron ore. Now, we did see before, oh, I want some of this granite. There's some things that require granite to build, so we're going to uh, try and uh, dig all this out. And I guess we're gonna need we're gonna need a bigger bedroom. Okay, we've made a lot of the stuff now. I'm gonna make another crossbow. Some more spears. I think we've got enough wood at the moment. Okay, let's uh let's dig this around here then. Like that. So they can get all the way around the uh, library cases. There we go. Get digging that. Now we've not seen any enemies yet. Quite surprised we've not had people come and attack me. But as you can see, these are all learning though. Summon, summon flies spell. We're getting all new classes as well. Look, so we, we have got the uh, gnome crossbowman. We've run out of beds though, so we need to build some more beds. So if we go. Everyone's having just terrible standard beds at the moment. Now if we get if we collect, start collecting iron, we can start doing an iron bookcase instead of the uh, the normal one. Right, that is saving. There we go. Okay, I think we've got enough wood at the moment. Need to get this mined out. We've not got that many imps. Now, the people will come and go, and I can just... Um, they will... It, it's like a time thing. If you don't accept them after a time, they disappear. So, I'm wondering who to get, because I want, I want to get the crossbow one, but we are still digging this. Come on. Dig faster. Right, that should be all oh, that should be installed in there as well, the granite. There we go. Go and build me my beds. Okay, now we can get the crossbow one accepted. We've got two of them. Now, I think we've reached a level cap. Can we only have we only have 10 minions, so we've reached our level cap now. Okay, so we have got the Spearman now, though, as you can see here. Let's see, has he picked up a, a weapon yet? No. Let's give him the... Wait a minute, where's my crossbow? A crossbow man without a crossbow. There's a crossbow in that room. Oh, there we go, it's, the, it's that one we need to click. Let's give him a crossbow. As you can see, he now has a crossbow. Now let's pause this. Let's see, can I drag you into training? They don't know how to get these to train. I don't know if it's because of the mod, but yeah, it's not working quite as good as I wanted. Now, now we've got a little bit of a force built up. We can start getting a team on the go. So we can drag people into this team. So let's, uh, let's do a new team. We want crossbow man. We want gnomes. Now, this is how you do the combat, so if we go ahead and click on one of these members, 
So I don't want to control the crossbow one. I want to control. Who shall I control? Uh, one of these. Throw the gnome. Right, if we do control. Now, the gang is all going to follow me. So we're going to go outside. And we're going to go and see what it is on the map over here. Let's go and see who this uh, other dungeon keeper was. So it is line of sight. You can't see. Oh. See, the trouble is, it's they do actually drown. Some of them can swim and some of them can't. So I'm a bit reluctant to go completely in the water. This looks... Ooh, the water's deep, are you sure? No. See, something was killed there. What was killed there? I'm definitely going to stumble across a keeper or something soon. Okay, this is all opening up. This looks very manufactured. Okay, who's this? Okay, we've got a peasant. Okay, let's go in. Okay. <laughs> no! Why did I not have a weapon? Right. Let's let's go on with the rest of the team. They will auto fight. You can see that. They're doing some auto fighting. Okay, there's the flies. I think they're my friendly flies. Come on. Go on and attack him. Gnome's gonna do what a gnome's gonna do. Important, the tribe of humans is destroyed. Okay, get wrecked. I've actually killed them all. Now you can actually go inside the buildings. There we go. We can go inside these buildings and do some looting. So if you go over a chest, press E. Oh, enter, sorry. There you go. Enter again to loot. So we're getting some freebies here. I'm just going to loot all the gold. So these are actually uh, humans. These weren't... It wasn't another keeper. Okay, there's nothing here. So once you've finished looting, you can just do exit control mode. And that'll return to normal now. So if I unpause it, they're all going to trundle off back home. I did lose one, though. I lost a crossbow person. Look at me flies. Flies returning home as well. I don't think they've actually got anywhere to sleep, but yeah, that's all I'm going to show you for now. So this is Keeper RL. So if you'd like to see a little bit more of this on the channel, then uh, let me know and go and uh, go and grab it and download it and let me know what you think of it. Thank you for watching. I'm Shirley Rocks. See you next time.